How's it going today everyone and like I said previously in my other video about Flintlock, Flintlock the Siege of Dawn is dead on arrival cause nobody wants some ugly ass diverse trash being in a video game. Nobody wants to purchase that. People want attractive characters. It could be of any race but make them attractive and Sweet Baby Inc is ruining the gaming industry by forcing diversity and ESG mandates. So they can go to hell? The game finally came out and it is abysmal. Let's read this long ass tweet from Grum. And it says, SBI game Flintlock has launched to very poor Steam stat. Only 607 players were other, older, and doing much better at this hour. Game already discounted 10% on the launch day. That means nobody's buying it. Companies do not want to put their games on sale. They feel like they have to if nobody's buying it. Why don't you just make a better game that people would actually want to buy in the first place and wouldn't mind paying full price for? No, you just put it on sale and think people are going to buy shit for less money? It's still shit. So, yeah, maybe that'll help. I highly doubt it. He just mentioned the Steam charts and they are right here as you can see. 579 playing now. That is abysmal. That is a disgrace. That is horrible. Your game sucks. Nobody want it. Nobody likes Sweet Baby Inc. People are sick of them. We're not just like a small subset of gamers who are complaining about diversity and, and... No, no, we're not that. We're bigger than you realize. People are sick and fucking tired of this shit. Tired of this DEI ESG shit in every single industry in society, especially entertainment. We have had it. We are sick of it. We're not small. You want to gaslight people who say, oh, just a small percentage. No, no, we're not. And you're seeing that right now. Many other games as well. We're not buying this garbage. We're sick of it. But let's continue reading the tweet. I covered how the former CEO and the COO ruined the game by hiring SBI in the past week, race swapping the MC and using company funds to promote diversity initiatives in the COO's personal VFX company. When they eventually left, it seems the game never recovered. Well, well, what at that point, the game is mostly developed. It's already done. Characters are already designed. Animation is already designed. And that's just annoying that they race swapped the character. I mean, you changed the original vision. I haven't seen what the original character looks like. I guarantee you probably actually attractive and not ugly and man face and trans freak looking like type of creature that you get in this nasty ass game. People do not want ugly bitches. We want attractive women. Make the women attractive. Stop hiring sweet baby ink and just make a good fucking game. Like I don't understand why you can't just make a game with a story with a mechanics. With a mechanic with gaming mechanics. <laughs> but you get the idea. I, I don't get why you go out of your way to hire these fuckers. Why are you listen to them? Nobody likes this. It's indie games all the time that don't do this gay shit. And people enjoy those indie games. I know independent games not that popular. I'm one, one of the few that talks about it. But still, they don't need to do this. And their games are better. And this company is small. I don't know how small or how big. Just stop. Just stop hiring Sweet Baby Inc. Because that is the kiss of death. Whenever we see that company, we ain't buying shit. Because we are fucking tired of them. But let's continue reading. Kepler Interactive investor Lizzie K. Who was angry after my article that she left Twitter. Please don't add the current account. It belongs to someone else now. Claimed I would be wrong about the game. But turns out I was right. Yeah, everybody was right, bro. Nobody wants this shit. Like, this shit was dead on arrival. I made a video about that go watch that video and in that video i was talking about how nobody likes this game people in the replies for the trailer of the tweet they released were shitty on the game because people who saw this is just another ugly dei protagonist that this is dead on arrival so it came out and it is dead on arrival so we were right we were right the whole time we usually end up being right in the majority of these situations because it's so fucking obvious and it's so fucking predictable every time these people are the same with the same patterns the same beliefs all doing the same shit it, it just <laughs> makes it just corny and boring makes a lot of shit boring really because it's so predictable but it makes it fun to laugh at At least we got that we can laugh at shit we don't have to buy this garbage we can just laugh at it clown on it make videos and everything and just yeah piss all over it because that's more fun than the actual fucking game but let's continue flintlock devs did reach out to kombudas who created the steam curator group sbi detected some time ago to claim 
claim all this SBI material was removed, but when Kabuta's asked for proof, they ghosted him. I would have even lied. It felt like people were gonna find out eventually. So what is the point of you lying? Cause you, here's the thing. Now that I think about it, if they feel like they have to lie about this shit, then you know you're doing something wrong. So why are you doing it? You know that people don't like it. That's why you're lying. Oh no, no, we didn't work with them. We didn't work with them. And then, and then it was found out that you did, and then you get fucking mad. Why are you lying? Cause you know it's bad. You know nobody likes it. So why do you even do it in the first place? It's it. <laughs> It's so stupid, it's so bizarre, I don't, I don't understand, this shit makes no sense to me. You're doing something that you know gamers don't want, you're doing something that's gonna make you lose money and make your game be dead on arrival, so why the fuck are you doing it? Are you that stupid? I just, I, I don't understand people, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't. Well, let's continue reading the tweet. YouTube reviews of the game cite poor story as part of the reason for Flint Locks lackluster reception. Sweet Baby Inc. consults on story and characters. Any studio currently working with SBI should ditch them and denounce them. Kabuta's Steam list is nearly half a million gamers, and none of them will be buying any Sweet Baby Inc. back game. And there you have it. That is the tweet. And about those YouTube reviewers, yeah, most YouTube reviewers are fake. They're paid. They get the game like a week in advance. They get like uh, exclusive interviews, exclusive playtime or demos before the game comes out so most of the youtube reviews are stupid and fake they're shells they got paid by the companies i don't really trust that many of them there's not that many that are legit and knows what's going on with gaming and talks about the dei and esg shit there's not a lot of youtube reviews that that actually do that i barely know any i can't even really name much but whenever i see one of these people getting early access i just assume your whole review is fake i would respect it more if you bought the game yourself and played it and then reviewed it. Nobody really disrespects the company that gave them free shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to seem like you're you're being antagonistic to the company who's literally paying you. So these YouTubers literally just be soft on the reviews. Don't tell the truth about how terrible the game is. Don't tell their fans what they actually don't like about the game. At least all of what they don't like. Obviously, they're going to say things that they can say, but when it comes to shit that might be too much or a Offensive or too far to get free shit, they're gonna keep their fucking mouth shut because they're paid prostitutes. A lot of these reviewers, damn near all of them. Why do you see review copies given to people who aren't fans of the company like that? That never happens. That just goes in general. You gotta be super safe to get the sponsorships and the early access shit and free shit. That's just how YouTube works, and people realize that that shit is fake. It's fake. I don't trust none of these fucking paid reviews and shit. I don't watch it. It's trash. You get better opinions on games from fucking people on Twitter. Then you can do it about the, the actual reviewers. But whatever, I'm just ranting about YouTube reviews and how that shit is garbage. But let me get on with the point. Yeah, this game is dead on arrival. I said that before. Nobody wants Sweet Baby Ink games. We're not a minority of gamers. We're a loud voice and you're not going to gaslight us no more. Make attractive characters and you will make money. It's not that complicated. Sweet Baby Ink is a plague. Whenever we see it, we do not fucking buy your game. Get that through your head. They're never going to get that through their head because they have the same ideology. All these companies are just gay and they're from like New York, California, those type of states. They all have the same ideology. That's why they went out of their way and worked with Sweet Baby in the first place. They didn't see anything wrong with it because they all think the exact same way. And now you got fucked. Your game is fucked. How does that feel, bitch? We are tired of this shit. Stop working with Sweet Baby Inc. Denounce them. Make attractive characters and you will make money. That's all I gotta say about this shit. Flintlock and Sweet Baby, go fuck yourself. 